More than 700 people have died in New York over the past 24 hours. That's the worst hit state in the country. And the number of infected cases has risen to new heights, with more than 7,000 people dead in the United States alone. That's an increase of over 900 deaths in the past 24 hours. It has been reported over 476,000 have been infected by LV7. According to John Hopkins University, the U.S. has the highest number of fatalities with Italy and Spain coming in at second and third. But experts believe there could be more unreported cases and deaths related to the LV7. Since its discovery nine days ago, the virus has continued to spread across the world at an alarming rate. The World Health Organization estimates that the number of people infected worldwide could be over 2 million, with 43% of new infections being newborn babies and children. The alarming mortality rate for those under 15 has caused worldwide panic. With so many children and our future in jeopardy, the CDC cautioned to... Hello? Hey, Adrian. It's Cooper. Hey, uh, Cooper? Hey, man. How have you, um, how have you been? I I'm good. I mean... I don't have it as far as I know, so... That's good. It's good, yeah, man. One day at a time, right? Uh, how about you? Ah, uh, good. Well, unemployed. Right. The restaurant's closed. Yeah, and they laid everybody off on account of the pandemic. I don't really know how I'm going to make rent, but I'll figure something out. What a crazy time we live in. What's next? Aliens? Well, this is probably worse. This uh, reminds me of something. Slain, after all, man's devices had failed by the humblest things. What's that? Is that from one of your books or something? Not mine. War of the Worlds, H.G. Wells. I tried to get Jen to read it once, but she wanted Harry Potter. Right. Right. Yeah, I, I think I saw the movie, War of the Worlds. Yeah. Same ending. In the story, it's not the humans that defeat the aliens in the end. It was a virus. Are you driving? Yeah. So how's it looking out there? A city that never sleeps. I almost wanted this. What was that? Sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. Sorry, it's... It, it, it's nothing. Is this giving you more time to write at least? You know, like, less distractions? I mean, it... It doesn't really matter. It's not like I can find a publisher during all this anyway. I see. Did you, did you finish working on that thing you were working on? Yeah, I managed to finish it. So, what's the story? Or is it still a secret? I mean, I guess it's not really a secret. It's just that uh, if I tell you, you're gonna think that I'm making it up. So, it's about a man who wakes up in an empty New York City. All the people mysteriously gone, just poof, just vanished. And for a while, he, he enjoys this. He loves the silence of it all. The empty streets, the abandoned roads. I mean, I, I wanted to see that. 
but now it's like waking up to a nightmare every day. A never ending night. Jesus! Hey, what happened? Are you okay? Adrian, what was that? Hey, come on, man. Say something, you alright? Adrian? Hello? Adrian? Uh, I'm good. I think I heard a gunshot. Oh, God. I didn't, I didn't see the guy. It's only been nine days. And we're already out here killing each other. We never learn. Great. Here we go again. Damn, that's loud. Warning. A code red emergency has been detected. A code red emergency has been detected. Living nightmare. Can't wait for this to be over. We're not gonna be the same after this, Cooper. We're being tested. Every nation in the world is being tested. Will humanity tear itself apart or... How does it end? The book you wrote about the last man on Earth. Uh, he... He, uh... After... After surviving so many years in this deserted New York City, he gets injured by a pack of wolves that took over an abandoned Lincoln Square. He sees everything he missed, his family, his friends, the sounds of cars honking, the sounds of a couple fighting, but no matter how much he hated the noise, in the end, he missed it all. He slowly bleeds out in front of the remnants of the Met Opera. And as he's dying, he looks up at the sky and smiles, surrounded by people. The people of New York City that he loved and hated everyone Jesus that's bleak I I'm, I miss the sound of the cars tourists screaming angry New Yorkers I miss Samantha I thought we were gonna have kids together. I thought she was the one. I guess everyone shows their true colors in times of a crisis. And I can't imagine what it's like for everyone else in this city. We'll bounce back. It's just a tough city, man. We'll survive. We have to. Did you know that uh, Isaac Newton discovered his law of gravity during a plague? Really? So it's not all doom and gloom? Yeah. 1665, the Great Plague of London. The bubonic plague. Trinity College sent all their students back home. Sound familiar? Sure does. So, everyone sent back home, including a 23-year-old Sir Isaac Newton. And if the legend is true, while staying at his childhood manor, he sees an apple fall from a tree. 
which later helped him develop his love of universal gravity. You're missing Trivia Night already, aren't you? <laughs> well, it just goes to show without the epidemic, Newton would have never discovered gravity. Well, there's two sides to every page in history. We just gotta figure out which side we're on. I, um, I heard something on the radio. Something about the ozone layer. Like it's starting to recover something. I guess the Earth is recovering faster without us. That's a sad truth, isn't it? It took this for the planet to thrive. What was that quote you said before? The War of the Worlds thing? Mm. Slain after all man's devices had failed by the humblest things that God in his wisdom has put upon this earth. Yeah, that book's been on my mind a lot these days. I can't help but think maybe we're the Martians or maybe we're pathogens and the Earth as a living system is trying to beat us to cure itself. I don't know. I don't know what to think in a time like this. You know, the virus isn't the real danger. It's us. It's always been us. All the hate and the violence that we bring upon ourselves. No one's immune to fear. Sorry, I'm just rambling. No, no, it's cool. Hey, uh, how's your sister doing, by the way? I'm actually gonna see her right now. All right, man. Well, I'll let you go. Tell Jen hi for me and tell her to keep her spirits up. Thanks. For what? For listening.
girl started to feel down My mental was blocked out It would have been yet for But those were too sore It was broken from the core Yes for you.